Now for Global Business Update, Rotus Odiri joins us. Good morning, Rotus. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning, Rafai. Good morning, Dr. Abasi. Dr. Abasi, your comments on Echo bang on. Ecowas is a, a toothless bulldog. Uh, but let's get into the uh, stories for today very quickly. Uh, we begin with the European Union, the EU AI Act. They have leapfrogged uh, the United States to put out an act that Parliament has officially approved. Here's the details. It is a risk-based approach. There are some um, parts of AI that will be banned completely. AI that supposedly ranks people based on race uh, or social class, they're out the door. They're also going to be um, um, artificial intelligence ranked as high risk. For those wondering, chat GPT is not going to fall under high risk, but they are going to open AI is going to have to be subject to transparency uh, initiatives. So it's going to become law by May or June of this year. And um, some of the general purpose rules will apply by 2025. By 2026, everything is supposed to be fully on board. Let's go to TikTok. There's a lot of free speech today. I think today is going to be a discussion on free speech. So the votes passed the House 352 to 65. Um, the bill now the Senate passes the bill, and there's no guarantee because uh, Senator Rand Paul, for instance, of Kentucky, has voiced, said, seems like he's not going to support it. Chuck Schumer, the Democrat from New York, he has been non-committal about bringing it to the floor, but we'll see what happens. If it passes the Senate, there is a 180-day deadline after which TikTok has to be sold. Now, the U.S., the language of the bill says that it does U.S. entity. It can be sold to a Nigerian entity. Swedish entity or Nicaraguan, anybody, but it has to get out of Chinese hands. And by the way, we're just finding out that the White House actually helped with crafting the language of this bill. So it was truly bi you know, bipartisan. And then one more thing on the matter of free speech. TikTok actually, just for our viewers to, to know, TikTok actually engages in censorship. You can't talk about the Tiananmen Square massacre. Yes, you can't talk about the Uyghur massacre. Uh, you the can't Uyghur Muslim the, massacre. Muka, yeah, you can't talk about the uh, the border issue between India and, and China and a number of things. So the issue here is to get it out of uh, the hands of, um, of China. Now, still on free speech, if you look at the top five... Uh, in the United States, uh, this was about 3 a.m. in the morning. You will see Don Lemon <laughs> at number five. Now, just for you, okay, AEW Big Business is wrestling. Number two is Survivor 46. That is the Survivor show. Can you imagine? Has been on. This is his 46th season. Wow. It's been on since 2000. A year wow. after Nigeria regained, went back to democratic rule. Sisters on BET is um, a Tyler Perry show about some uh, single black women finding their way through their careers and their love life. And then R H O B H is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That show has been on, I think Real Housewives of Orange County came on in 2006. We have Real Housewives of Lagos, Abuja, it's everywhere internationally. But notice that Don Lemon has 34,300 tweets. And you notice that Sisters on BT has only 5,000. Hashtags give you uniformity, but for organic trending topics, Don Lemon was everywhere. Why? Elon Musk apparently pulled and um, cancelled a contract that they had for content. If you look at this tweet from, two, from uh, January, X Business, which was an entity that was set up to, um, to bring on content creators, announced that Don Lemon would be coming on for a 30-minute show um, to be broadcast on X. If you look at their next tweet, they now announced some of the new um, people that were coming on. I don't know if you guys remember Tulsi Gobard from yeah, Hawaii, Tulsi the Gobard. undercover Republican that was running as a Democrat, and then uh, Jim Rohn and Dim Lennon. So this was the issue. Now, however... Um, yeah, yeah, Elon Musk pulled the deal because um, Don Lemon interviewed him. It was also the first interview the on first the show. Episode. And and Musk, who is a free speech absolutist, absolutist, did not like some of the questions. So here's what Don Lemon said. I want you to know that I did this deal because not only do I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to reach the largest amount of people. So speaking of free speech, right, I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. I asked him to do it. He willingly agreed to the interview. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. What did we talk about? Why is he so upset? Does he even have a reason to be upset? Make sure you watch it on Monday on YouTube and everywhere you listen to podcasts and you can decide for yourself. You can even watch it on X because I'm going to post it there and I'm sure others will as well.
<laughs> now, people thought this was a publicity stunt. Even I did. I thought it was an arrangement you need to. But look at a tweet from X. X actually puts out, uh, and it's very, very interesting. X is a platform that champions free speech. We're proud to provide an open environment for diverse voices and perspectives. The Don Lemon Show is welcome to publish his content on X without censorship, as we believe in providing a platform for creators to scale their work and connect with new communities. However, like any make decisions about our business partnerships. And after careful consideration, X decided not to enter into a commercial partnership with the show. Elon Musk then tweeted some, you look at this Don Lemon tweet. Look, Elon Musk puts free speech is the bedrock of democracy. And then Lemon now replied and said, you canceled my contract after our interview. I don't think you believe in free speech. Now, speak, still along free speech, uh, you remember um, the Dr. Bati reminded everyone there was a purple, um, the women's uh, initiative to the walk for uh, Chioma Okoli. Uh, shout out to uh, Adesua Osaige, our uh, anchor and reporter here. That documentary, very balanced, gave um, Risco Foods a chance to speak, gave Chioma Okoli a chance to speak, inspired this walk. We actually had her on the show. Still, this is on free speech. Here she is. And that's the difference here. Eric Mofia seems to think he's above everybody else, mm. including Nigeria, including Section 39 that gives us freedom of speech. In actual fact, one would say Eric Kumofia is totally deluded. Right. He has a God complex, the kind of God complex that sends you to Yaba left. So therefore, Eric Kumofia would effectively need it to be cured. Yeah. Of that affliction being the persecution of Choma. Yeah. Okoli, and also all the things he said on Adesua's documentary, yeah. which is why we went out yesterday. Now, uh, sorry, that's not Adesua Osaiga. Was the documentary was for us. That is Iriti that Bakari Susuf, Bakari. who is yeah. the head of the, uh, the uh, Purple Women's Movement and the Walk. Let's get to the central bank. Um, the central bank, um, please, there needs to be some clarity here. The CBN handed over fertilizers to the Ministry of Finance. Really? Not to farmers. <laughs> and I think it is very important that we listen to the words of uh, Yemi Cardoso when he was in the Senate. So we pull that up. Please take a listen to what he said about interventions and handing it over to the entities that are supposed to have the capability to do so. On the issue of development finance, we are coming to terms with a large amount of liquidity that was in the system that created a lot of distortions and sadly a lot of it didn't get to where it was designed to get to. What we're trying to ensure is that going forward, we do not run the risk of failed interventions. So for the avoidance of doubt, we are not saying that we do not believe in interventions. No. All we are saying is that we, will, we, do, not, we do not have the capacity as a central bank to engage in interventions and that we will work closely with those that have that ability and in fact help them to create capacity where it doesn't exist to be a convening mechanism for those that have that capacity to do it. So it will be a partnership as opposed to a situation where we get involved in it directly and as I say run the risk of failed interventions which are hugely inflationary. Just to be clear, if you look at the images, it's the central, I mean, the Uncle Boras program, they're basically cleaning out the pantry. So it's like you moving into a new house and somebody's got stuff in a garage, you're going to take it out and give it away. They said this, our job is monetary policy. Hey, Ministry of Agriculture, it's your job to handle food. So here's the fertilizers, you take it and you distribute it how you want to do. Whether there were, you know, scams in the past, whatever happens, whatever happens, it's on you. We've given it to you. Finally, Ike Omokede, you've already mentioned it. Yeah. He is, of course, back in the saddle as the non-executive chair. He's, he's decades of experience. The, the market had to know that access holdings, of course, as far as leadership is concerned, he's back in the saddle. So that's so, our update. So, Rosus, I mean, I don't believe this Jaguajantis, I use that word, that the CBN is now saying. You're welcome not to believe it. That's fine. As far as I'm concerned, we are back to intervention. What is intervention? The CBN putting money down, like you give it to the Ministry of Agri, or like in the case of Uncle Bora, they give it an, to an anchor yeah. that shared it to other farmers. Yeah. Intervention is intervention. Face your monetary policy. These were the same things they blamed the Mefele for. So they should burn the fertilizer. This was the same things they blamed the Mefele for. Shabi, this is part of the same money that they are saying they want to investigate. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. 
This is part of the same money they say they want to investigate that uh, Anko Bora scheme didn't do anything and all of that, that the money was mismanaged. So how are they seeing a fertilizer from Anko Bora all of a sudden? What would you do with the fertilizers? I'm asking you a question. You yeah, don't okay, the question. Ask, what's the question? This was the same Anko Bora scheme that they yes. said they mismanaged. The is the you get okay. it. Is a, that was an analyst. Don't okay. speak for him. Okay. Let him speak for himself. Okay. Okay. So, okay. that was an analyst. You, and that story. Clip. No, 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 to an analyst, not the CB and said they were cleaning the pantry. Correct yourself on that. I point. am using the analogy of cleaning the pantry. Correct it's my yourself. analogy. What I'm saying it's is from an that the Anko Boras program the CBA has not assets that. for on, agriculture and they are so handing it over for them. Listen, on, listen, listen, that's why I played that clip. Hold that's why I played that clip on the CB and government. from the government. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. Can we make progress? What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Yes. Let the CBN come out and be open with Nigerians. But he just said it at the Senate. He, let me he speak, Rotus. what he said. Rotus, let me speak. You know, we are going to for him. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I know this propaganda is what they've been cutting and pasting as a reaction to defend. I will tell you the way it is. Let me talk. Dr. Vasi, please. Secondly, that story of cleaning a pantry it's my analogy not a was story. made by an analyst and reported by an analyst my third question i asked you that you don't be able to answer is what this is the same anchor borrower scheme that they said they saw nothing out of it mm -hmm. now you are talking an idea of cleaning the pantry let them be realistic with them cbn should not put their hand in anything let the ministry do their work they are the agreed banks that are there Ma me okay it's all right yes i mean see I made this point earlier okay. when, we took, on, you. when we took you on this topic yeah. that the CBN under Cardoso's watch cannot afford to be flip flopping. Yes. If he says he's not going to do direct intervention, he cannot come and say, well, to use your expression, we are clearing the pantry, pantry. we are giving pantry. out uh, 100 billion worth of fertilizers. What is he going to give out next? Maize or greens? <laughs> now, the, the, the Ministry of Finance is uh, on the CBN board. Some of these interventions, let the government side people, let them do it. You are a banker to the government, not uh, a clearing house for fertilizers and maize and millet. So we need clarity. This would be sending wrong signals to the public. So let, don't speak for Cardoso. He has, he has officials. Let them come and speak for themselves. So let them speak for themselves. There's a reason why we played that clip. He clearly said in plain English, we are not against the, um, interventions, <laughs> but <laughs> our <laughs> role <laughs> is to <laughs> hand over to the <laughs> entities that have the ability to do so. But the that's what he said. No, stop saying that. He said we are... Anyway, don't be for clips to play sound bites. I played that because he specifically said it is to hand over to the... I've allowed you to speak, okay. right? So <laughs> hand over to the entities that do so. It, it was with the CBN. We Those things are with the CBN. It handed it, look at, do we have the images? We have the images okay. of the why handover. He gave it to why, the why Ministry not? of um, Agriculture. I, I had him. Yes. I had, I had him. See, we're that. not, we're we're not in a position to speak for him. For him. Let him speak what for we have himself. done is to raise questions. Yes. Certainly. Certainly. Let him come forward and do his own clarification. Mm -hmm. We are not a PR arm yes, of the so Central Bank. Now, yeah. let me quickly take on the other issues. <laughs> you were. Let me take on the other issues. <laughs> yes, the the, 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 the yeah. EU AI Act, yes, Artificial yes, Intelligence yes. Act, yes. I guess is the first major global attempt to address concerns that have been uh, expressed about artificial intelligence, the kind of risk that it can pose. You talked about the categories. Now, the other major category is that where it is unacceptable, that particular technology in that category will not be accepted. The other categories are high, medium, uh, low risk. And it's interesting that you know, the European Parliament is taking the lead in terms of reining in the possibilities of access by high-tech companies. You recall that they also have the Digital Markets Act under which they are fined uh, Google, although Google says that they are going to uh, uh, you know, appeal, which is about competition making this space uh, open. And we think, truly, that in an age at a time when there will be a lot of elections this year, the fear is that deep fakes can be used to manipulate ele elections mm. in different parts of uh, the world. As for the TikTok, you raised the question about uh, free speech. With regard to TikTok, the issue 
uh, as the American Civil Liberties Union put it, is a violation of the First Amendment. 170 million Americans use TikTok. And those 170 million Americans have been speaking up. Gen Z will be affected. People who do small scale businesses say they will also be affected. And they are the ones putting pressure on the Senate not to go the same way as the House of Reps, which had to fast track it. Even politically, there are issues. The House of Reps is saying because of the link between Biden's and the Chinese Communist Party, it could be used to influence election or to uh, steal information from ordinary Americans because these apps are connected. But Biden is, has done a 360 degrees pivot. In 2022, he supported, he passed legislation, he signed legislation to stop the use of TikTok on, that, on government platforms. Now he says if he passes through the Senate, he will sign it. Trump, who also in 2020 issued an executive order against TikTok, now says, no, uh, TikTok should be allowed yeah. because TikTok, if you ban it, you will give powers to uh, Facebook, to Facebook yeah. which he considers enemy Facebook. of the people. Yeah. You know, these are the issues here. Yeah. But we'll see how the Senate votes, mm -hmm. finally, on that Elon Musk story and uh, Don yeah, Lemon. Lemon. Well, for me, it, the, the big issue here is not the... Uh, a back and forth about free speech. Mm. It is about the fact that traditional television is now moving online. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Yes. So Don Lemon, you know, is uh, interested in online because the people watch television more online now. Absolutely. Talk TV, talk TV. I think that's what it is called. The Rupert Murdoch uh, uh, yeah. uh, talk TV. platform. Yes. Yes. Talk TV now says, following the example of uh, Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan, yeah. that they are also going to move. Strictly online, online yeah, and yeah. leave yeah. traditional Cable. TV. Yeah. Piers Morgan has 2.4 million viewers right. on YouTube. Yeah. So Don Lemon going in that direction is also likely to do well. And maybe a time will come when people will not be working, watching TV traditionally. Mm. Yeah. They will be watching online. online. Yeah. 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 I think we're very well aware on our way there. Yeah. Our way there. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're already there. Where most the Arise, people watch Arise YouTube, like, Arise YouTube uh, page. Yeah, <laughs> very lively. Well, we're out of time. Yeah. Thank you very much, Rotos. We're very robust and exciting <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> no PR.